um, just brought you along for another instalment really. Um, I've been wanting to do a Haldex for a while now, just to show quite a few people out there what it is, what it does, and whether it should be serviced and how it should be serviced. So I got the opportunity today to do some filming on one um, and take you along for the ride. So I thought I'd do the intro to the video um, in a quiet place because where I was, it wasn't quiet at all. So hope you enjoy. The next time, the next clip, sorry, uh, you'll see is me getting stuck right into it. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of a debrief just after. Here is the Haldex unit. Now I've undone the bolts just to show what's going on. But this is a four wheel drive system on a modern Volkswagen, Audi, say so yeah, it, Skoda. Now what I've done is I've got a, uh, got a service on today and I'm also gonna show you the pump removal and just why it's so important to remove this pump and uh, clean slash change the gauze inside. So we'll get to it. I wouldn't like to say I've undone the bolts just so I can purely show you on here what's going on. So this is the drain for the old oil. You're gonna see some absolutely disgusting coloured oil come out of here. There's a black stripe down it, absolutely filthy. Now, that's the fill plug here. So we're just going to do that a little bit more and take it out in the hole. Just to let it flow out a little bit easier. And that's the colour of the oil. Right, so I'll just quickly show you the plugs. So have a look here. It's always best to do it on a ramp if you can or on axle stands, however you want. So here's your two, two plugs. So that's the bottom drain plug. And that's an 8mm Allen key. So we'll do that. The top fill plug and it's got a replaceable washer on there as well just so you can see and that's a little five mil allen key just there five mil and on the pump itself which is just up here you've got that one there and that bolt just at the top there where my fingers wiggly and that's a t30 torx or a 10 mil whichever is easier you've got and this is what i use so quite a long T30 bit, focus there, T30 bit, and then a little bit ratchet, these are godsend these, if you ever, if you ever get a chance to get one, definitely do it, because they fit in all nice angles, you can get multiple lengths of the torque sockets, which is brilliant, so that's going to drain, so we just, as I say, I've loosened these bolts, so we can just pop these out, and the pump's only sat in there on seals. It's only on seal, so we've removed the two bolts there. And it is a case, there is wiring up above, so you've got to be really careful. I'm getting get in there and show you. There we are, the wiring just up above. Be very, very careful when maneuvering this pump off. There's plenty just to hang the pump. Well, not hang the pump, just move the pump out of the way. That is a bit of a, a tight one, but it does let go. There we go. It lets go just like that. And as you can see, even more filthy oil coming out because that's what we're going to clean out. There. And that is the uh, the filter gauze at the end. Get nice and close in there. You can see that that's fairly well dirty and blocked with old Haldex oil. Now if I scoop just out there, you can see it's all sludgy. Sludgy. And that's what your pump's trying to trying to push around the Haldex system. So as you can see, it's not it's not the best. So what I'm gonna do off camera now is just clean everything up, bring you back to see what's going on, and then I'll fill it up and we're good to go. So we're back nice and clean, as you can see there, lovely and clean. Clean the whole pump as well, and all inside there, everything is now. Nice and lovely clean. That's just finishing its last little drips. So, and I put Haldex, fresh Haldex oil just around there so we can slot the pump in. I'll do that for you now just to show you on camera just how easy it is just to keep on top. And there is also an aftermarket filter you can put on these as well. You can see the white part at the end. A couple of T30s, that's off. So, see there the fresh Haldex oil that I put around the seal just to help it go in. 
And it is a case of just being nice and nice and gentle and wiggling it in. That's it. Once we're the pump, pump in sync pump, the pump is in. And we've got the wire up there nice, nicely fed. Nothing, nothing on top there. So we can put the bolts in. Again, then bolts in. You can you can wiggle the pump as well just to line these bolt holes. Not an issue. Put these bolts in there. You can turn them up mostly by hand. There is a torque sitting, which I will do. I'll do that off camera. And we're all well aware on how to torque something up. So we'll just nip it for now. I can say this little tool is ace. In. I can say I will talk that up on camera. So now that's pretty much a grip. Pop that back in. These all do have torque settings and you can over tighten them and you can uh, rip the thread, the casing of the helmet. This one is quite a long thread. And again, best practice I always do is you're going to talk everything anyway, but always nip. Always nip everything. So the next bit I'm going to show you is the new Aldex oil and then I'll see if I can get all my hands in place just to show you filling it up and uh, finally boxing it up. So that's the new Aldex oil, energy part number G06017582. Now we've got a quite a cool tool. Big syringe type thing, works brilliantly for this sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we've got a little adapter there and that screws perfectly like so doesn't have to be tight just needs to be in there and at the end of the tube on there. Fill it up, you'll see the bubbles go up in a sec. You'll see when it's reached its capacity, it will start to leak out of the hole. Trickle to a drip, and then pop the plug back in. All right, so and talk everything up, and you're done. That is a Halbeck service. Um, hope that's helped. There we go. Something just a bit different. You don't get to see these bits. Um, it's all good and well being told you need this, you need that, you need this, but it's nice to show you what it actually is that you need, what it actually is that I do in my job for your vehicle, not just say, yeah, I've done this and you know nothing about it. This is why I want to show you what I do 
as a as a technician repairing your vehicle show you the process show you what we do what tools we use and what products we use i mean it's, it's all good and well saying yeah i've done this but it's nice to show the customer what i've actually done so that is a major component in the four-wheel drive system of a volkswagen it's it's the be all and end all really of the the volkswagen <clears throat> four-wheel drive system so we're exactly what i wanted to show you um modern cars have this type of haldex system differential if you like um there are the older generations of diffs that have a little filter on the outside now i'm talking fairly old sort of audi s3s type thing gen 1 that's got a little filter these gen 2 haldexes is the white gauze that you see on the end of the pump which is why i always advise a clean purely based on the fact that you saw how it came out it, it's not nice if if you never take that gauze out and just keep swapping the oil out it gets gummed up pretty bad um, i've seen some horrible cases and it stops the pump working so you might as well just have a two-wheel drive car at that point because it's not doing anything so hopefully this has been informative hopefully you've seen a little bit of what i do and i can also sort of help you understand why we do on your cars what we do uh again if you've liked this content please like please subscribe please share share far and wide get all your family involved it's nice to show absolutely everyone what i do so thumbs up click the bell all notifications you'll get to know exactly when i post live things catch you in the next one take care